controversy between the neighborhood group and next door neighbor Club Europe. Fox News' Stephanie Rothman talks with the owner who says their business is not to blame. My patrons are the victims. They're not the they're not the the problem. Bobby Baker with Europe Nightclub speaks out after citizens for Greater Downtown St. Louis allege via Twitter that they're to blame for an incident in the neighboring parking lot early Saturday morning. The crime is not a club problem. The, the, Smash. the crime is a city problem, and it's it's all over. So there there was an incident in the parking lot next to their club. All right. That they're to blame for an incident in the neighboring parking lot early Saturday morning. The crime is not a club problem. The, the crime is a city problem, and it's it's all over St. Louis. It doesn't matter where you are. Places that have the volume of people like we do, they're targeted. The tweets show screenshots from surveillance video. Baker says show a group of people in the lot trying to defend themselves against a man with a gun. There's a lack of police officers. There's a lack of security. We have secondary security that work every night that we're open. So this looks like a glider club. And the, I wonder what the race of the person who they were defending themselves against. Secondary security that work every night that we're open. Um, and these parking lots next door do not have that. The club doesn't own the parking lot, but they do use it for their customers as well as city museum and hotel customers during the day. There are plenty of eyes as families use it, but during the nighttime under the shadow of darkness, it's easier for criminals to target people. With the rate of crime, for sure, there should be more security down here. Maybe some a combination of public and private. The citizens for greater downtown St. Louis were unavailable for an interview. They instead responded in a statement saying, quote, for years, we have had concerns with 3 a.m. venues that have generally been a source of disorder and quality of life issues in our neighborhood. Acts of violence from patrons of any establishment will not be tolerated. The latest incident involving customers of Club Europe is just another example of the problems caused by late night venues. Let's work together and bring the city together and stop dividing and figure out a way to move forward. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Stephanie Rothman. Club Europe, that's racist, ain't it? No. They say the Moors are the first European. <laughs> yeah, man, that's right. Um let's see. What else is going on, man? Uh they've already won this city. Um Oh, well, then they ruined it even more. Shit. Hokia Heights residents dealing with some really depressing news as the city's Walmart is closing after 40 years. Fox 2's Jordan Williams tells us what the store has meant to the community and how the mayor is trying to save it. For decades, this Walmart along Camp Jackson Road in Cahokia Heights has yeah. been a foundation uh, for the pounds. community. Yeah, I know the Moors was not the Europeans. It's a joke. Make sure you hit the PayPal Cash App Super Chat. Support the channel, man. Um, yeah. Black people were the first Asians, the first Eskimos, we the first everything. Man. Been in a family for quite a while. Open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., it stood tall while surrounding businesses shuttered. There's other stores, Target and Dillard's and all those stores, but there's no Walmart. There's nothing like Walmart. After 40 years, though, it's closing its doors for good. Walmart is leaving. You know, it's what we're going to do. I see Hart is gone. Something else going to be gone. We're not going to have nothing. <laughs> she has no idea why anything's leaving. But don't bring your ass over here, sister. I mean, just think I still about love it. my black sisters, but don't bring it over here. Brothers I mean, too. Everywhere you go, people just leave. That's listen, man. That's crazy. When you show up, people are like, all right, we out. Well, welcome to places that were uh, manufacturing towns that have been gutted because the manufacturing businesses left. So there's no business 
there's no industry to support people having stores there, so stores close down. Welcome to white people problems. You know, it's what we're going to do. I see heart is gone. Something else going to be gone. We're not going to have nothing left. In a statement, a communications director for Walmart wrote, after a careful and thoughtful review process, we have made the difficult decision to close our Cahokia Walmart location. We have nearly 5,000 stores across the U.S., and unfortunately, some do not meet our financial expectations. While our underlying business is strong, this specific store has not performed as well as we hoped. Loyal shoppers tell me they'd be willing to do just about anything to save the store. It's worth that. If they can get enough signatures, mine would definitely be on the line. I would sign. I'll be out here and pick it if I have to hold my sign to keep it open. Leroy Turner lives right behind the Walmart and has been a customer for about 30 years. Heartbroken. Still am. I just can't believe it. Seems like a nightmare. He tells me he'll be here for the store's last day next month. Even if they don't have too much left. I'm going to have, I'm going to, I'm going to be here. White zaddy, man. You see how much black people depend on y'all? <laughs> we depend on y'all. We rely. He could just go and get his stuff shipped to his house, whatever he need. Yeah, but old people, you like, they like walking through Target. <clears throat> you know, mom are looking at stuff. Looking for sales and shit, and it's like a mall. Walmart's like well, they a like mall. putting their hands on it too. They don't like trusting the online. Yeah, listen, man. You old person, you take any excuse to get out the house every once in a while, man. Um, salute the last outlaw. He said, "Shout out to Brown Sugar, some soothing voice." Brown Sugar, you putting people? Thank to sleep? you. Is she? Is it so soothing? She putting you to sleep, or is it soothing? Like soothing, soothing, or is it like? Like soothing, like you nodding off and dozing off or some shit. On that last day, it's like saying farewell, and I'm feeling heartbroken. You know, kind of makes you want to cry. Damn, this guy really, really loves Paul. Said, <laughs> yeah, man. Damn. Damn. All of them love Walmart. They all torn up. These some people torn up. You can't find a glass. Yeah, here I am with like eight WalMarts. Yeah, I, I got a couple where I'm at. Yeah, man. And they, yeah. Uh, I, I don't even, I'm not a Walmart guy. I was a Target guy. But um, Walmart's cool. I'm, I'm more of a Target person, though. I will well, admit there's that. one Walmart here, and it's for about a 50-mile radius. So it's busy as can be all the time. I avoid it like the plague. <laughs> Kind of make you want to cry. Cahokia Damn, Heights cry. Mayor Curtis McCall said he's working with federal and state elected officials to try and save this Walmart. In Cahokia Heights, Jordan Williams, Fox. Wow. Just move somewhere else, old man. Mm-hmm. Wow, what is this? Incidents in the St. Louis County town of Glendale rally in the wake of tragedy. They are doing it for a beloved garbage truck driver after his daughter was murdered. Here's Fox 2's Andy Banker with the story all new at 10. 